Hey everybody, it's Ragdolls, and welcome to another gaming news video, and today is Wednesday. I'm putting this out late as usual. I usually put it out around 9, but it might be a little bit earlier. Who knows? It depends on how long it takes to upload. So I'm turning over a new leaf. I'm trying my best not to cuss. Now I have a this new Let's Play schedule. Both my niece and my sister have both said that I cuss entirely too much. But welcome to Gaming News. Glad you guys are here. Let's jump right into it. Um, if you've been paying attention to Destiny 2, you know that the frame rate is going to be a much lower on console than it is going to be on PC. PC, fortunately, if you play anything on PC, it always seems like you get everything nowadays. <laughs> um, and Destiny 2 is going to have no frame rate cap. So that means you're going to be able to play 4K60 on your PC or even higher resolutions if you want to. Um, Unfortunately, in console, you're only going to get 30 frames per second, but I don't know if the game necessarily needs it. I mean, does it really need 4K60 support? It's a massive game. It's already beautiful as it is, and I feel like the game is more driven by story and by gameplay and the experience with, you know, playing with friends. Um, it, it's it's in kind of an MMO of sorts, so I don't think it really needs it, but that's just my own personal opinion. But today, Edge Ma Magazine had an interview with uh, executive producer of Destiny 2, uh, Mark Noseworthy, who stated that 60 frames per second is definitely a possibility on console. Um, it's not that whether or not they are capable of doing it, it's just that doing it will basically undersell the product. You're going to, you're going to have less cooperative gameplay, fewer monsters to shoot, he stated specifically, and a smaller space to play in. So that means that the level size is going to be drastically smaller because they're going to have to compensate for the resolution size and, and the uh, frame rate. Uh, so I don't think that that's an even trade. I, I, unfortunately, that's just where consoles are. Consoles are always going to be behind PC when it comes to hardware strength so that's just kind of what we're given but i still think that you're going to have an amazing experience in destiny 2 there's a lot of hype behind it but hopefully at launch it's a much better launch than destiny 1 so i still think that there's a lot to look forward to aside from the frame rate drop 30 frames per second is still okay um i don't know what elder scrolls online plays at but i'm positive that it's not hdr or 4K60, and especially since I'm playing it on 1080p TV, um, that's never even prompted me for 4K support. So, and, and it runs magni magnificent. I can't even think of a word to say. I love playing Elder Scrolls Online. I know that that's a totally different game, but when it comes to a first-person shooter slash MMO style game like Destiny, I don't think you really need 60 frames per second. It might look amazing, but it, there's so much more to experience in that game. So. That's just uh, my own personal opinion. Uh, next in the news, Microsoft um, has been trying to probe Sony and push them for crossplay for a while now, especially uh, with Minecraft being out on both systems. I think a lot of players would enjoy being able to crossplay certain games together, and I definitely think that it's a worthwhile investment for Sony. But Sony has been very adamant on not doing so. But today, Aaron Greenberg of Microsoft states that. They are still in talks with Sony on crossplay for Minecraft and are hopeful Sony will be supportive of the idea. So it doesn't sound like we're out of the woods yet, that they haven't come to a definitive decision on crossplay. So we might see um, players from both systems playing in one game soon. I mean, hopefully as soon as this year. I don't know how long um, talks are going, going to persist. But I don't think that it's going to be an issue on Microsoft's part, uh, especially since they have, have been very adamant at pushing Sony towards crossplay. Um, and I'm hoping that maybe we might see crossplay in other games like Call of Duty and, and, and other future titles besides Minecraft. But it would be nice if you, you know, if all your friends are playing on, so on PlayStation but you have an Xbox One to be able to join a game with them on Minecraft, especially since playing online is more fun with friends anyway. Um, next in news, the SNES Mini uh, pre-orders are completely sold out, and because of that, there has been an influx of sales on eBay for the SNES Classic, or uh, Mini, or whatever the hell you want to call it, um, for the price of well over $200. I think it goes as high as around $400, but a lot of them I'm seeing around like $260. So, there's a lot of scalpers out there. Do keep in mind, 
it's honestly not worth it. You're getting 20 games on a small system. Um, yeah, it's very gimmicky and it is a collector's item, but for 200 bucks, $300, really? Um, when you can just buy an SNES for around $80 at a local like used game store, like Fair Game here in Fair Oaks in Sacramento, um, they have an SNES. I think that I think at the highest, I think I've seen it around 100 100 bucks. You know, and you can get games for around 20 bucks at the highest. Some are some are the collector's games, of course, are going to be much more expensive. But you're going to get your money's worth if you buy the actual system for $200 than you would buying a, a miniature that you can't enhance or add more games to. I don't know. I, I think that a lot of people are going to be stupid and unfortunately purchase that. And that's what ruins it for everybody. But that's the world we live in. There are scalpers. And unfortunately, that's just how things are, I guess. Um, Xbox One X is also unfortunately, uh, the, pre the Scorpio is unfortunately sold out in um, pre-orders, which sold out pretty much within the first few hours of its release um, on pre-order. But the Xbox One X is still available, and it looks like retailers have been reporting that their numbers are selling beyond their expectations, which is great. Uh, I was not expecting that. Um, with Xbox being as unpopular as it's been and PlayStation kind of ruling the world at the moment, um, I didn't expect Xbox One X to sell at all, really. Uh, but now we're seeing surprising numbers, which is very cool, especially if you're an Xbox gamer exclusively. Um, it'll be nice to see people kind of coming back over to the platform and seeing much busier... Yeah, I mean, the, the servers are already busy on most first-person shooters. It's just nice to see that support, especially for me. Kind of gives me peace of mind that my brand isn't just another PS3. Especially coming from owning a PS3 and all the flack that I got for owning a PS3 and not a 360. When I finally got an Xbox, I noticed immediately a difference in uh, dynamic, the way that uh, servers were always busy, sometimes impossible to get into. There were just more people who owned the system, and that's kind of the thing. If you if there's a higher selling system, we get better exclusives. There's more third party support, and I think that third party support is is fantastic on Xbox, but we're not seeing enough exclusives that are really selling the system. So I'm honestly surprised that the Xbox One X um, is currently selling beyond expectation. I think that's very cool. Um, couple other things, GameSpot released a video of Nino Kuni 2 gameplay, so definitely check that out. If you played the first Nino Kuni on PS3, I suggest definitely picking that back up again if you've ever sold it like I did. Um, it is going to be a quick collector's item, and I'm certain that it's going to go up in price. Around town here in Sacramento, I have found it for about $13 when it was available. So I'm hoping to get my hands on another copy of Nino Kuni. I should have never sold it, but... It was not the game for me at the time when it was released. It was definitely a grind session kind of game. You are going to continuously grind and grind and grind about mid-story in order to advance. So that can get a little frustrating, but it's it's the JRPG elements that it has at heart. It's got great intentions, and it's a beautiful game. If you love Studio Ghibli, definitely check out Nino Kuni 2. Um, IGN just released 11 minutes of Biomutant gameplay, which we just got a trailer for, I believe, yesterday. Uh, the game looks fantastic. The trailer was awesome. Definitely made me want to go check out the game. Um, I watched the 11 minutes of gameplay, and so far, I am very impressed. It's definitely a, a title that I'm going to want to pick up in the future. There's way too many games that are coming out right now, and I don't have any idea how I'm going to get my hands on all of them, but I'm going to do my best this year. Um, last thing, um, Blizzard, which is probably the most popular gaming company out right now, it seems like, uh, just did a couple short films or short videos of, um, what's the, it's, I think it's, a uh, Amazing, I, I've never played Overwatch, so I might be pronouncing that wrong, but it's a character in Overwatch, they kind of did an origin short story, and then a Rise and Shine, so it's just like a couple short quick cartoons of the character which were kind of cool i've never played overwatch so i have no idea what's going on in those videos but hearthstone i do play and i actually deleted it out of frustration yesterday because that game is so goddamn hard and i just recently started playing it about a week ago so i'm kind of underselling myself but i just recently deleted it i'm gonna re-upload it just because of the short film they released today it was um heartwarming and just kitschy and just awesome, and, and I had and now, and now I feel like regretful that I actually deleted that game. 
So if you guys like the video, be sure to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I just said subscribe, subscribe. Um, check in on Saturday for more gaming news to fill out your week, and check in every day uh, for Let's Plays, and every day at noon for Slime Rancher. Alrighty, guys, I will see you later. Have a good week. Peace out.